Hull FC might just have something special in some of their younger players but in many ways the entire squad were taught a lesson in Super League Rugby at Warrington Wolves. During the first period the likes of Cameron Scott and Liam Harris looked assured and both came up with great plays. Scott and Hakeem Meloudi bundled Ryan Atkins into touch and that led to an FC try, while Harris produced two neat cross-field kicks, with a try for Dean Hadley coming on the back of one of those. In only his second Super League start for the Black and Whites, Scott was assured beyond his years in the first period but his edge was peppered in the second half. Scott is only 18 and wasn't supposed to make his debut this season. Had it not been for an injury crisis in the backs, the Bradford Bulls product would have likely been allowed to take up a season-long loan option at Dewsbury Rams, a place where he was loaned out earlier this season. But he, like the majority of the FC squad at the moment, is gaining valuable experience that they will benefit from. Harris and Jay Connor were taught lessons in how to manage a contest during the second period. England international Kevin Brown went about his business in an unassuming way but got the job done with a key assist and an important try himself. This was a tough test for Hull's younger players and they will certainly learn from it moving forward. Who salvaged pride from Hull FC's defeat at Warrington Wolves? Still in a solid spot Hull will finish round 16 in 4th spot no matter what happens now which is a solid position to be in just past the halfway mark of the 30-game campaign. The Black and Whites may have still played more matches than Castleford Tigers and Leeds Rhinos but points on the board is sometimes as important. FC are also 8 points clear of 9th placed Salford Red Devils with 7 games left before the league split. Hull should be sorted regarding the 8 but you never know. The black and white's aim will be to keep as close as they can to the top 4 for when key players return from injury in the Super 8s. Another injury Hull almost escaped their first week in a while without another injury only for Jake Connor to come off in the final quarter due to a hamstring problem. To the casual observer it might have looked like Connor was being rested with the game gone but coach Lee Radford confirmed post-match that the playmaker had pulled up. It's too early to say if he's a doubt for Hull's Challenge Cup quarterfinal at St. Helens next Sunday. Connor will have a scan on Monday to determine whether there is any damage. Biting allegation tempers flared before the break when Warrington prop Chris Hill made a biting complaint on FC winger Hakeem Meloudi, with Radford providing his view on the situation post-match after speaking with the Wolves captain. Chris Hill of Warrington Wolves shows the referee an alleged bite mark. I spoke to Chris at the end and said if he has done it I apologize on his behalf. Radford continued. There is an elbow in the face and if he has done it he's a silly boy, if he hasn't owed dramas. We'll no doubt find out more on this situation in the early part of next week. Yeah how live app it's completely free and features all the latest news, sport and what's on information. You can download it for iPhone and iPad from Apple's App Store, or get the Android version from Google Play.